Hello everybody, this is Jim Craig with the Learning Linux CNC channel. This is going to be our introductory video to the channel. We're going to go over the machines that I have around the shop. Uh, you can see behind me right now I've got my uh, milling machine which is already controlled by Linux CNC. And then I've got uh, some other machines that are here in the shop. Uh, you all have already seen probably, or some of you have anyway, seen the uh, probe videos that, that we did on the on the uh, milling machine behind me. Um, and there's been a long delay since then, but we're going to get into doing more of the basic stuff with Linux CNC. We're going to convert a machine from, from Mach 3 to Linux CNC. And uh, then we've got some other projects down the road that we'll do uh, that will get into more advanced topics. And they may just be sprinkled in and about some of the videos that we're working on. Uh, you know, it'll be be various topics as we go along, but we'll hit the basics, we'll hit some advanced stuff, um, and we'll we'll try to try to keep everybody interested. Uh, so we've been working on this shop, so we've got a new home for my machines. So uh, I'll give you a quick tour of that and uh, go over some of the projects we're going to work on in, the, in over the next year or two. So stay with us. So we'll start here the shop tour with the uh, big milling machine. It's a uh, 1990 vintage uh, three axis milling machine. It originally had FANUC controls on it and uh, I, whenever I bought it, it had some functionality that didn't work. Some of the stuff worked, but some of it didn't. So I decided to switch it over to Linux CNC and uh, we've, we've done some videos on that on my other channel, but uh, I'll, I'll do some overviews of it as we go through on this channel as well. So it's already been converted to Linux CNC. It has a touch screen uh, monitor there where you can control it on the screen. I've also got a keyboard and mouse that you can use also. So we'll pan over here. So then I've got a Grizzly G4003 lathe, which it's manual still. Um, that's one of my projects that we might do uh, later on this year, maybe next year, is convert that over to CNC. Um, there are some things that I'd like to do on it that would be nice to have CNC. It would be a lot easier to do repetitive stuff. But uh, for the time being, we're going to leave it manual. But uh, that may be a project to look forward to in the future. So then we'll pan on around a little bit further. And basically on this wall, I've just got me some uh, workbench space. I'm going to put electronic stuff over there for soldering and desoldering and diagnosing things. Uh, that may also become a reloading bench area at some point too. So at this point I'm going to switch over to the other side of the shop. I'll be right back. So at this point now we're over by in front of the uh, Grizzly uh, lathe and uh, we're looking over towards the windows that you saw a while ago. One thing that you can see over there on the bench is a robot. That is a robot that uh, I was able to get from uh, TJ Powderly. He was able, he was moving out of the country and needed to get rid of it, so I went up to Chicago and picked it up from him. So that's a project that we'll work on down the road also. Um, right now, I don't have the, uh, the money to buy all the controls that I'll need to, to get it running. So uh, for right now, it's gonna just be a, a bench decoration. But that's something that we'll work on in the future. Something to, something to look forward to. So then we'll zoom back out some here. So we just got some bench area there for, for cutting boards and doing woodworking type stuff. Uh, tools hanging on the wall. And then there's our project that we're gonna start on here in the near future. We've got a uh, three axis gantry router that we're going to convert from, uh, from Mach 3 to Linux CNC. And uh, there's a com new computer up on top of it there that I built just for the application. I'm gonna do a video on building that computer um, and then we're going to go through the basics of installing Linux CNC, uh, setting it up for a simple stepper configuration, which that's what that is, and uh, doing that several different ways, looking at HAL files, looking at INI files, uh, doing, doing all that stuff to see how, how Linux C really works, how you set it up, what all that stuff means in those, 
and, and the INI and HAL files. And uh, we'll go from there. So we'll zoom back out. And then a toolbox and back around to the milling machine. So that's kind of the overview of the shop and what we'll be looking at here in the, in the next little bit. So stay tuned. I hope we're going to have some interesting topics. Hopefully there'll be something you get something out of. Um, and uh, look forward to you watching. Thanks for tuning in.